Kale out here at uh, B Rider Customs, and uh, they got a 70 fastback Mustang they've done some work on. Replaced suspension, chassis, things like that. Now, I spent a lot of time on, on the body and getting everything lined up. Uh, the customer just wanted a nice driver, but uh, they got a good stance now in a car that'll drive like a new one. So, anyways, let me get Larry turned around or uh, run down, and uh, we'll take a look at it. Larry, the car's got a good look to it. Yes, it does, Scotty. Uh, you know, one of the things that we make sure is that we put wheel and tire combos that, that accentuate the body lines and uh, get the stance just right. And this particular car, was a pretty nice car it came in here. You know, it's, it's, it's not a new restoration, but it was a nice car, but it had the old suspension. Well, when we got it up on the, on the lift, we were noticing, well, you've got some little rust issues. So we went ahead and replaced a floor pan instead of the complete floor, or instead of just floor itself. And, and the frame rail had a little rust. So we now, replaced Now, did you, you replace that with a factory floor pan? We replaced with a factory reproduction by Dynacorn. Okay. They fit like a glove. Okay. There is, there's no extra welding needed. Right. Just you cut it out and put the new one in. So Worked out well. Yeah. Now we have four-wheel disc brakes on this where this car came with four-wheel drum brakes. Uh, we have wheel woods on it uh, and they came via Chris Olsen chassis works. Oh, okay. This Mustang is a typical of any good car that just wants suspension upgrades. Chris Olsen chassis works has a division called TCP and they offer bolt-on items. So we have four coilover suspension, we have disc brakes, we have rack and pinion steering, we have sway bars front and rear. Uh, it's just an exceptionally good driving car. So now it's going to drive much like a new one would. It is. And the little car had a three-speed in it when it got here, so we put a five-speed Tremec in it. Uh, you know, stock 302 motor. And we did a little dress-up stuff under the hood, but it's basically stock. Right. It's for uh, the guy's son, who just started UT. Uh, so it's a, it's a nice car for him to run around with. Uh, D'Artanian is his name. I want to mention him because he's such a good kid, uh, very intelligent, and uh, loves his car. So now we have one that he can take on long trips or short trips around town. It, it's just... It's wonderful. It's ready to go driving. It is ready to go driving. And are those dry? Are those stripes? Are they flat? Or are they? Uh, they look like they're satin. They're a they're a matte finish stripe. And of course, it's Wimbledon white. That's a Ford white, right. factory colors. And it has the white and red interior that's factory. Now this is stock in here, right? Yes, sir. It's basically stock. The only thing that is not stock is we put a tilt steering column in it from I did it. We've got a steering wheel from Billet Specialties, and we have vintage air. It's a, a factory replacement, so that it doesn't have extra knobs. It uses the factory knobs oh, and cool levers. That? Yeah, yeah, no, because cool. vintage air usually has three dials there mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and a plate. Right. And now that one looks just like stock, but behind it's all the upgraded air condition. That's true. This is the Gen 4 unit. It's got little CPUs that operate stuff. Wow. Man, a lot of upgrades on this car though, right? Upgrades, but it's still bone stock. Right on. We, we didn't do one thing to the inside. I like it though. I don't think you have to do much to the inside. I mean, a cool Holcomb interior would be nice, but that's a lot of money. And I, you know, to be honest with you, this is kind of retro and I kind of like it. Yes. You know? And uh, then you put the important thing, you got upgraded air conditioning and a tilt column in it. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to agree, especially when a guy's going to drive it on campus. Right, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they're going to beat it up. It's just going to, uh, it's a good driver. Good That's driver. all I can say. Right on. Now, you say that's the original 302? That's the original 302 with a few upgrades. It has an Edelbrock carburetor on it. It has a Petronix uh, system here. Distributor? Distributor, thank right. you. And then it has a vintage air front runner, uh -huh. which cleans everything up, gives him a serpentine belt. Right. Um, the rest of it's bone stock. Well, I mean, the valve covers. Well, those are just Ford, Ford dress-up. I like yeah, those. They're though. just dress-up. They're bolt-on items. And then all this uh, supports out here, that's not stock, is it? No, this came with the Chris Austin suspension. Oh. This keeps this car from, from doing Flexing. this. If you're wanting to uh, do some slalom or yeah. road work, road course, this is... This keeps it together. Right on. 
And what is a what does a system like that cost? The, uh, the the suspension package for one of these is a little pricey. We're in the twelve thousand dollar range, but that comes with fourteen inch wheelwood brakes. Comes with coilovers. It comes with rack and pinion. Uh, it comes with a brand new strange uh, ring gear and pinion true track. Uh, brand new housing. Uh, triangulated four link in the rear i mean it, it's a new car right it's brand new now and it's that all grand just for parts or is that including an install no no that's just parts all right that's just parts there are other upgrades you can do without doing the complete package but right. this is a complete package this, this is, is the is, best is this something somebody could do in their own garage or would they have to have a professional to do it? no they can do it in their garage there is one place that needs a little welding it's it's on the frame connector uh, but they can actually bolt that on. Not a high-end show car, but a nice driver. And uh, I was out visiting Larry today and saw it. I liked it. I liked the way that the satin stripe was on it and the white and uh, the interior. Just had a good look. So I thought we would uh, we'd throw a quick video together on it. And, of course, Larry, uh, Larry is a dealer for these uh, suspension parts. So not only can he get you the parts, but he can also install them if that's what you need. Larry? If somebody wants to get in touch with you, what's the best way to do that? Um, we we talk email a lot. It's Larry at B dash rod or custom dot com. All right. Uh, we have a website, www dot B dash rod or custom as well. And then you're on Facebook too. Yes, sir. Facebook. And, it, and and what's the name of the suspension again, Chris Austin? It's Chris Austin Chassis Works TCP. Okay. That is the nomenclature that you'll use for uh, the suspension packages for Mustangs. And if people are interested, not just for suspension for Mustangs, you carry the whole line. You can get them all that Chris Austin stuff. We, we carry it all. In fact, the Chris Austin stuff is what's under Amy's car. Right. Aviatrix. Aviatrix. And then you put that on most of your stuff, too. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. we have another one coming very yeah. soon. I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. All right, Larry, thanks so much for letting me come out. Thank you, Scotty. Folks, there you go. A nice little 70 Mustang from uh, B-Rider Customs. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.